not conducting licensure examinations, the Health Professions Council of Zambia, HPCZ, will this year be carrying out the exams for all health professionals aimed at ensuring that suitably qualified health personnel practice in the country. The exams are, however, unpopular among some sections in the health sector. Announcing the return of the exams during a press briefing Friday, HPCZ Registrar and Chief Executive Professor Fatson Goma says doctors, clinical officers, biomedical technologists, radiography, and all other medical graduates shall sit for licensure exams apart from nurses and midwives. The process is really aimed at producing graduates who will be competent, graduates who will be capable of handling our people in all of Zambia, so to say. So we will be very, very particular about continuous professional development going forward and we will provide no exemptions from people who are not able to show to us that they have adequate points for us to certify that they can go ahead and continue practicing. We will be very particular about clinical audits in that we will be checking records to make sure that the patient records are kept in good order people are actually able to stand up to what they wrote as to how a patient should be managed. Professor Ngoma explained that the reintroduction of the licensure examination will address various concerns from members of the public. I have recommendations to be put on a permanent register. And so without that license, someone cannot be employed because we need that license for them to get into practice. Practicing without uh, a license is a very big offense and you know that offenses in health are taken very seriously because they relate to one's health and sometimes uh, their well-being and even death. So we are very, very particular about us having licensed practitioners going out there and practicing uh, their profession. As the Health Professions Council, we want to make sure that their practice is standard and also is quality. And we hope that everyone will comply.